Hey, this is John. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Mechanical Mastery. In the last episode, we set up this giant row of machines to help us automate our regular mechanical essence. And it's so close to being done. Uh, I did turn some of the machines off because uh, we're really low on EMC. So I need to get this whole system running before we run out. So let's get to work on that. Um, the last step is to make a mechanical mixer that will combine all our stuff into the regular mechanical essence. I do have one more laser node, so we should be able to transfer things downstairs. So let's get to work on that. I'm going to need at least one water wheel. I think that'll be enough for that. And then we need a basin. And we're going to need a mechanical mixer. All right, so we need a cog wheel. We need a whisk. Do I have cog wheels on me? Yeah, I've got some on me. All right. I may need more than what I have here, but this is a good start for this. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Mechanical mixer. Um, let's make... Yeah, let's make four more of those. What am I missing? Shafts? I'll need those, too. Not sure what I'm going to need, really, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So, let's set things up over here in the corner. Do I have my trap doors? Here's some trap doors. Uh, sometimes when I, when I come back on the game, it just respawns the one pro read me. I have no idea why. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put this water wheel, I'm thinking, right here. And then I just have to block him in. And then we need to block off at least one part of this. So let's put a block right there. And then we can try dumping water and seeing if it goes. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So there is my water wheel turning. He's running at 8 RPM. Let's get him up to 32. So there is 16. And there should be 32, I think. And that might even be the right place to put the mixer at, or the right height. Let's see if I did this right. Hey, I did. Perfect. All right, so now we have our mechanical mixer set up. And let's get the laser node set up. And first, let's just get some ingredients for one of the items. So, looks like my bronze rods are upstairs. Okay, I'll take uh, half of these. And I'll take half of these. I've got three steel gears and six invar gears. So let's just make sure that it all works when I go in here. Okay. So if I toss in an invar, a steel, two bronze, and a whatever that is, do we get regular mechanical essence? Yes, we do. Awesome. That's what I'm looking for. So we need to set up an insert channel. What side are you? The west side? Okay. We're going to set up an insert channel on channel 3. And you need a counting filter. Uh, am I out of counting filters? No, I've got one more. There's one. And I want you to have two steel gears, two invar gears, four rods, and two of those things. Is that everything he needs? Yeah, one, 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 and two. Okay, so, whoa, not that, that many, just, just two. Okay, so... That should filter you for that. Let's filter your recipes to make sure you don't make anything else. I don't think that really matters, but we'll just make sure. So let's go ahead and connect you 
to something and you're getting basic mechanical essence and bronze rods. Um, you probably don't have any more steel gears. You don't have any more Envar gears. I think that we uh, stopped the system to make sure that wouldn't happen. Yeah, you need some Envar. Um, let me grab just four Envar real quick. We'll just go ahead and test this. I can grab a stack of this steel. So, here we go. One more Envar. Ah, oh, you're not running. Okay. You could run, though. So, let's go ahead and tell you it's okay to run. And then you are the steel guy. So, let's make sure that all works. So in just a second, ah, oh, yeah, it inserted all of those things in there. Yep, and we get more stuff in there. All we have to do now is extract the regular mechanical essence into our new thing. So this is channel three. I think we're going to go with channel four for the extract. So let's see about that. If I wanted to extract on channel four, you are the west. You are an extract on channel four. And you can only, I think I do need to filter him to only extract the basic mechanical essence. I'm not 100% sure about that, but that should be fine anyway. I did set your channel four, right? Yeah, your four, your yellow. All right, let's go to the, this guy our final stage and you need to be an insert on channel four let's see here and you need to input from the back okay there you go we now get uh these guys going in here so we should get and just a few little bits um 20 000 plus on our essence on our EMC. Come on. You can do it. There we go. All right. Let's turn things back on. Iron back on. Copper back on. Bauxite back on. I'm not honestly sure what all I turned off. I think just the machines I thought would produce things and gum things up. So pulverizer Okay, pulverizer is getting coal. Uh, you can put more coal in there. You are getting iron to make steel. What are you doing with your steel? Because it seems to be sticking in here. It's supposed to go in here. Why isn't it? Because you are not auto extracting. You are inputting from the bottom. That makes no sense. You should be inputting from the left. Oh, that's the back. That's where my iron comes in. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that should be good to produce um, steel for us. We'll get steel gears. You are working. You are working. Uh, we've got a little bit more nickel in here we need, but that's okay. This guy is making the Envar gears. Yep. And then eventually everything goes in here and gets crushed up. I hear the whirring, and yeah, we got another one. All right, the system is up. So the question now is, will we get a positive EMC gain? I hope the answer is yes. I guess we're gonna find out soon. Now I know that this guy is not going to keep up. We have three things that require iron, and some of them require four pieces of iron. So he needs to be sped up. So let's see if we can get some better uh, machine augments for him. Uh, what are they called? Integral components. So what are our options for integral components? Have we made one of these yet? We probably did. What's in tier two? No, what's in tier three? Actually, it says we haven't. So we should make one of those. Let's see if that's an option. Um, we can make one of these. We need Electrum and Signalum gears. 
Uh, we can get Electrum, we just need silver and gold. So here's the silver, I mean the gold, and the silver is around here somewhere. There we go. Let's go chuck this in a induction smelter. Get him going a little faster. I think we don't need too much of this right now. All right, there we go. Stick nail them gears. And there we go. One reinforced component. And that gets us a second one. Uh, it'll be going to the pyrolyzer, I think. Okay, so, yeah. You are the first one who needs this. And the pyrolyzer is the second one who needs this. Okay, that should help out. I think we should also get some of those uh, flux linkage amplifiers. So, can we do that yet? That's auxiliary reaction chamber. I want a flux linkage amplifier. What do they require? Lead gears, electrum plates. We can totally do that. Um, let's take some of the electrum and press it into plates. Uh, I want three, so I need... Let's just do half a stack of these as plates. Uh, I do have this much EMC, which... It looks very much like we're gaining on EMC. I haven't really dumped anything quickly in the system, and we are already up on EMC. So I will double check, and um, I didn't mean to do that. I will keep watching to make sure that it goes up, but I think it will. So, okay, so now we just need um, six lead gears. And three of these. And there we go. Three flux linkage amplifiers. Okay. There we go. Now he is making iron much faster. Uh, we'll put that in the pyrolyzer as well. That way we can get plenty more uh, steel. Because at this stage, steel is going to be our limiting factor. We need to produce steel much faster. So can I get uh, three more of those? I think that we can. There we go. We'll stick those in the pyrolyzer as well. Okay, so until we get the, uh, whatever the last augment is, this is as fast as he can go. But he will do a pretty good job right now of keeping up, um, I think anyway. So we may have to, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking he's actually good on coal coke. He seems to be keeping up with this guy. So we can actually improve the speed of this guy to make steel faster. So right now, coal coke is not our limiting reagent. It's our ability to produce steel from the iron and coal coke. So we could upgrade him to make that better. But let's just make sure that our EMC is stable before we do anything like that. All right, so what else is in our quest book or what do I want to work towards next? Um, obviously, we've got tier three automated, I, I think. We'll have to see if we get an EMC, but I think it's automated. So we could work towards uh, the Tier 3 Essence. That's the Improved Mechanical Essence. That would open up a lot of stuff for us. That would open up Refined Storage. And I'd like to get into Refined Storage. We also have Flux Networks open to us. We're going to need Flux Networks to be able to power Refined Storage. I mean, that's not true, but I want it to power Refined Storage. So I'm going to use it to power Refined Storage. So we definitely want to get into that pretty soon. To get that, though, I know that we need Obsidian. You know what? We're definitely going up on ENC. Okay, this system is, for the moment, stable. So all we have to check on is, how's our power? And we are 100% full on power, and our machines are doing fine. So 
Uh, eventually, we'll need to increase that power, but those guys are doing fine for now. Okay, uh, gonna chuck this in the system, get a big influx of EMC, and let's work towards getting Obsidian. So what I want for Obsidian is a Blast Chiller. So how do we get one of those? A Blast Chiller requires packed ice. Everything else we have, but we will need packed ice to get uh, the rest of this. So, um, to get that, we need to get ice. And to get ice, we need an ice charge. Uh, these are some things we have to automate to do the tier 3 essence. So, let's go over here, because this is how we'll get the blizz, which will get us what we need to make the ice charge. So, we can summon with effigies. We need to make a dormant effigy. We only need one of those right now. Um, do we have any stone? We have half a stack. Uh, I need some bone meal. Uh, we, have, we have some bones. All right, there we go. I should probably make more um, stone as well. But an induction smelter of stone and bone meal will get calcite. And calcite will let us make these dormant effigies. The soul stone is just glowstone and lapis, so no big problems there. There's enough calcite for now. I just want to make one of these things. So let's craft a soul stone. And there we go, a dormant effigy. So now we can turn that into a blizz effigy. Or we could if I had something to create the stuff to make him with. We're going to need another magma crucible and a fluid encapsulator. So I think I'm going to want to borrow this and move this guy. Actually, no. I'm just going to take this sawmill. I need the sawmill too. Okay. I'm going to move the sawmill. And I'm going to get rid of this guy for now. Wow, there's so much stuff in our inventory. Uh, let's put the steel away. And the invar. And the electrum. Okay. Let's put some of my stuff away from create. Yeah, I'll just clear up the inventory just a little bit so I have some room to maneuver. I think everything else mostly looks okay. You can go away again, one note. I don't know where you came back from. Everything else I think is fine for now. I'm going to chuck the sulfur in here. Uh, I've been sag milling that up to get sulfur dust. Uh, we'll use that to make gunpowder shortly. Okay. Everything else I think is fine for the time being. Where is my wrench from this guy? Okay. I want to move him. I want to put the sawmill there instead. And I believe the only thing he had was power, so no reason to change anything there. So I'm going to make a magma crucible and a fluid encapsulator. This will let us fill these dormant effigies to summon things. So we need uh, two of these machine frames. So we're going to need two tin gears, two machine frames. I need two nether bricks. I need two invar gears. I need two of these flux coils. There we go, magma crucible. And now we just need two copper gears, and here's our fluid encapsulator. So let's go set these two guys up. Magma crucible, fluid encapsulator. Okay, both getting power. So I'm going to output into him, and we'll input into him. So I'll put my dormant effigy over there, and to get a blizz effigy, we need to fill him with resonant ender. And that's just four ender pearls in a magma crucible. So let's take these over there. 
and let's chuck that in there. There we go. As soon as he has enough, he'll fill that, and we get a Blizz Effigy. Now, we can either um, right-click on the ground, spawn a Blizz, and murder it, or we can use the Sawmill on the Effigy to get the drop from it. That's what I'll probably be doing. I don't really want to do combat or anything. We do get a Blizz Cube, which will help us with this stuff. I already got my other reward. There it is. So we'll go ahead and pulverize these Blizz Cubes, and that will give us the Blizz Powder we need to make this Ice Charge. We also need Gunpowder, which is another process. And I think, for now, it's wrapping up point. So, hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget about those like and subscribe buttons. Have you heard of those before? Maybe I'm the first one to tell you? I might be the first. Well, anyway, there's these buttons on YouTube that let me know that you like the video, and then YouTube recommends videos to you. It's kind of their whole thing. That and however they make money. All right, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.